hello guys welcome back to uh, cfs designer video tutorials in this video tutorial we i'll show you how to design a wall stud so uh, let's say uh, i have something like say uh, so i have a, a stud open for me and like instead of uh, as soon as I open this, like instead of selecting beam or joist, I'll just select a wall stud over here, and this will be remain constant. I have only one span, and then let's say the height of the stud is 10 feet, and we have an axial load being applied, let's say it's 1500 pounds next thing i'll do is i'll see to it that my bracing is at midpoint i mean first you need to try it with none without any bracing then you can try it with bracing in the midpoint and then at third point and let's say i am applying some kind of wind load maximum of 25 pounds per feet that should be more than enough for now and uh, as you can see the member we have maximum member stress as 70.7 .7 in bending and axial so which is less than 100 percent so our, our stud member is passing so in order to like uh, let's say this was a 360 to 3 inch wall then we need to select 362 numbers and you see we have back to back what if we select single so if we select single it's going to 300 percent so we don't want that even if you have let's say third point bracing also it's not working so let me just go to the here and say back to back starts and let me just try 33 and still it's crossing 100 percent let me just have midpoint bracing so it midpoint bracing is barely passing but I, but again you cannot expect some you cannot expect like what kind of loads might come and sit like you know that there will be some dead loads and live load and you'll be applying according to that but it's better to be safer than 98 percent so i'll just increase it to 43 and 70% sounds really really good and like if you want to see the drawing of this I mean, if you select number summary you can get all your results over here deflection spam everything over here you have your reaction and uh, this reaction will be nothing but was the PDL uniformly distributed load whereas this is axial load nothing but and if you go to diagrams we should be able to see a deflection which is 0 0.094 inches so guys you need to make sure that you are both maximum bus stress is less than 100% and also the deflection less than 1 inch it's always better to be safe and let's check our moment so there is our moment diagram and the maximum moment is 312 feet pounds feet then you can see your shear your shear is 125 pounds since udl is acting on it so guys this is the way how you design uh, a wall stud in cfs uh, if you have any more questions please comment below I'll be very happy to answer. Thank you for watching the videos guys.